everyone, welcome to day three of Stay at Home. In today's practice, we are going to be focusing on forward folds, which when done correctly, stretches your body through the hips, hamstrings, and calf muscles. Forward folding can also help release tension through the back body, including your neck, your spine, and your low back muscles. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and have a seat on your mat and let's get started. So finding a comfortable seat on your mat, whatever that may be for you, as long as you feel you can sit up nice and tall, that's all that really matters here. So go ahead and remove the flesh from underneath your sits bones, grounding into your mat. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down away from your ears, expanding through your chest, heart is forward, and shoulder blades drawn gently back and down together. Hands can rest easy, either on your knees or in your lap, anywhere that's most comfortable for you. And let's go ahead and take palms facing up today. Tilting your chin until you feel it's parallel with the earth. And as you're doing so, allowing the eyes to close or simply softening the gaze if that's better for you personally. And from here, imagining a long line of energy beginning at the base of the tailbone and traveling all the way up to the crown of the head. From here, we'll go ahead and take our three deep cleansing breaths. So we're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth for a total of three counts. Whenever you're ready, taking that nice big breath in through your nose and exhaling fully through your mouth with a sigh. And again, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. And last time, inhaling really big through the nose. And exhaling fully through the mouth. Taking a moment here to calm and center ourselves in preparation for our practice today. Letting go of anything that happened earlier, or anything you have going on later in the day, just setting anything and everything aside for right now, outside of this present moment. Settling into the here and now. As you're doing this, beginning to breathe in and out through your nose. So inhales and exhales are both through your nostrils now. Visualize good energy entering your life. And as you exhale, say to yourself, exhale the bad. As you visualize all the negative things you're holding on to, leave your body and your life. Inhaling, inhale the good. And exhaling, exhale the bad. Repeating this mantra as many times as you need to in your head. Continuing to breathe fully and evenly. And we'll be here for just a minute or two.
On your next inhale, quietly setting an intention for your practice today. Whenever you're ready, allowing the eyes to open or refocusing your gaze, and let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and make your way, if you're not already there, into a Sukhasana or an easy pose. So to do that, you're going to come to sit on your sits bones and then just bring uh, one foot gently in front of the other with the legs crossed. So let's go ahead and begin with the right foot gently in front of the left. Maybe taking a moment to reground and clarify your foundation here in your tall seat if you need to. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and lift your arms all the way up maybe looking up if it's okay for your neck. And as you exhale, interlace your hands behind your head and gently tucking your chin in toward your chest. Spine stays nice and tall here. We're stretching through the back of the neck and the upper back muscles. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and release from this pose and return to your tall seat. Once again, on your next inhale, go ahead and lift the arms all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, left hand comes down, right arm stretches up and over the body, stretching through that right side body. And then inhale, lift the arms back up. Exhale, right hand comes down, left arm stretches up and over, stretching into that left side body now. And we're going to continue with a little dynamic movement here, switching from side to side. So inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. Continuing to move at your own pace with this, maybe finding a little more fluid motion as you continue to move and flow from side to side here. and then making your way back to center whenever you're ready. Returning to that tall seat, bring your fingertips out in front of you as you inhale. And on your next exhale, begin to walk the hands out, coming into a little forward fold, helping to open up through the back of the right hip. Sits bones stay connected with your mat, so only walking your hands as far forward as you need to, to feel a good stretch. On your next inhale, rising up onto the fingertips, looking ahead, and then begin to walk your hands back as you exhale. And then go ahead and switch the feet. So we're gonna stay with our Sukhasana or easy pose, but we're going to bring the left foot in front of the right now. So taking a moment to clarify that foundation, and then whenever you're ready, inhale, fingertips come out in front of you. And then exhale, walking the hands out. Finding that forward fold for the left hip now. And we all have an open and a tight side. So you may find that one side feels a little different than the other. As long as there's no pain associated with that, know that that's perfectly fine and okay. However, if you are feeling any sensations of pain, you can back off your stretch if you need to, walking the hands back or simply skip it all together. 
And that goes for any yoga posture, not just this one. On your next inhale, looking ahead, rising up onto the fingertips, gaze forward, and exhale, walking the hands back, returning to that tall seat. And from here, we're going to go ahead and transition onto all fours. So take your time getting there, there's no rush. We'll all meet on our hands and knees, facing the top of our mat. So coming onto all fours, finding a neutral tabletop position with the wrists, elbows, and shoulders in one long line. Knees are about hip distance apart. Feet are straight back from the knees. And your choice of either keeping the tops of your feet down on the mat or tucking your toes under for an added foot stretch. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift your chin and tailbone toward the ceiling. Drop the belly down toward the mat. As you exhale, rounding through the spine, pushing the mat away from you, finding space in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, belly drops down, chin and tailbone lift. Exhale, round through the spine, push the mat away from you, and find that space between the shoulder blades. Taking your time here, moving at your own pace, following your breath. a few more rounds of these together. On your next inhale, go ahead and return to that neutral spine. And if your toes aren't tucked under already, go ahead and tuck them under now. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift your hips up and back, finding an Adho Svanasana, or a downward facing jog. So this may be the first one of the day for you. So if you're feeling tight through the backs of the legs, go ahead and walk your jog out, bending one knee and then the other helping to warm up through the calf muscles. Release some of that lactic acid buildup that likes to happen there if you walk a lot or run. And then whenever you're ready, finding stillness in your down dog. So pressing your heels down toward your mat, but it's totally fine if they don't get there. Intending for the legs to straighten, but if it's better for you today, you can keep a bend in those knees and allow the belly to rest on the thighs. Maybe taking a sec here just to gently shake out the head and neck, releasing any tension that may be there. And then allowing the elbows and ears to fall in line with one another and hips are pointed straight up toward the ceiling. So we're thinking of our body as an upside down letter V. And we'll breathe here for a few breaths. On your next inhale, go ahead and rise up onto your toes. Look ahead, gaze in between your hands if you can, and then begin to tiptoe your way to the top of your mat, keeping the legs straight if you can, but bending the knees is perfectly fine too. And we'll meet at the tops of our mats in an Uttanasana standing forward fold. So here in your standing forward fold, feet are about hip distance apart, toes are facing forward, keeping a nice bend through the knees to protect the hamstrings or backs of your thighs. You don't want to overstretch anything here. 
And allowing the belly to rest on the thighs. Upper body is super heavy, so maybe give it a little sway from side to side if that feels good here, just helping to loosen up. Breathing into the backs of the legs. Releasing tension through the low back or the lumbar spine. On your next inhale, go ahead, halfway lift, rising up onto the fingertips if that's available to you. So we're thinking of the body as an upside down letter L here. The back is nice and flat. Option to bring your hands to your shins instead of rising up onto the fingertips if you're particularly tight through the backs of your legs. On your next exhale, go ahead and melt forward once again. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Hanging out here for a few more breaths. On your next inhale, sweep your arms back behind you, bend a little deeper through the knees, and then rise up with the torso and the arms, finding an utkatasana or a chair pose. So here in your chair, you literally want to imagine that you're sitting your hips back to sit in a chair. <laughs> Elbows can be up by the ears if that's okay for you, arms overhead, otherwise bringing your arms out in front of you or bringing them to your heart or your hands to your heart. Wherever you're at, breathing deeply. Nice flat back, core is engaged here. Feeling strong through the glutes and the thighs. On your next exhale, go ahead and bring your hands down to heart center. And then take a nice deep breath in here. And on your next exhale, twisting to your right. So hooking the left elbow to the right thigh. Taking a nice chair twist here. Staying open through the heart and the chest. Now inhaling back through center, staying low if you can, and exhale twisting to the other side. So right elbow connects with the left thigh now. And inhale back through center once again, and exhale straighten through the legs and shake that out. <laughs> All right, so shaking out wherever you need to, just moving in a way that feels good for you. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and find a Tadasana Mountain Pose. So feet are about hip distance apart, toes are facing forward, we're standing up really nice and tall here. Shoulders drop down away from the ears, chin parallel with the earth. And then from here, go ahead and heel toe your feet out just one or two times, bringing your stance to about shoulder distance apart, so a little wider than hip distance. From here, roll your shoulders up back and down away from your ears and interlace your hands back behind you, finding a nice yoga mudra arm position. However, if you are struggling here to straighten your arms with the hands clasped, you can grab a hold of opposite elbows instead if that's better for you. We're opening through the chest here and stretching through the shoulders. 
Heart is open and forward. Little back bend is okay here if it feels okay for your spine. And if you chose to grab a hold of opposite forearms or elbows as opposed to clasping the hands back behind you, go ahead and switch your grip. And then whenever you're ready on your next exhale, go ahead and bend through the knees, begin to fold forward, finding a standing forward fold with yoga mudra arms. Maybe your arms don't go very high, maybe they're more back here like this, and that's okay. Or maybe they're straight up toward the ceiling, that's okay too. Or if you're feeling very open through the shoulders, maybe your arms begin to flip out in front of you. On your next inhale, go ahead and halfway lift, come to a flat spine, and bring your arms down so your hands connect to your low back. Gently release as you exhale and melt forward once again for an Uttanasana. And then let's go ahead here and take a nice ragdoll variation. So grabbing a hold of opposite elbows, nice deep bend through the knees, resting the belly on the thighs. Releasing tension through that back body. And either staying here in stillness, or if it feels okay for you, you can begin to sway from side to side. back to center, finding stillness. And once you do, allowing your arms to drop with a thud. And from here, begin to bend your knees so deeply that you come to sit down on your mat. From here, coming to a nice tall seat, bring your legs straight out in front of you. So legs are extended completely here. Feet are flexed, so the toes are pointed up toward the ceiling, maybe removing that flesh from underneath the sit bones, grounding into your mat. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down, away from the ears, sitting nice and tall. And now on your next inhale, go ahead and bring your arms out in front of you, plugging the arms into the torso, plugging the shoulders into the torso, rather. So you're strong and connected here. And then as you exhale, slowly begin to come all the way down to your mat to lay on your back. Using your core strength, going slower than you want to go. We'll all need on our backs. From here, go ahead and bring your legs so they're about mat distance apart. Toes are splayed out to the sides here. Arms are laying heavy by your sides with the palms facing up. Allowing your eyes to close. Letting go of any intentional or deep breathing. Just allowing that breath to come naturally now. We'll be here for a few minutes in our Shavasana and I'll let you know when our time is up.
beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing sensation and awareness back to your body. Whenever you're ready, gently rolling onto one side, just whichever side feels most open for you today, and pausing in a fetal position. From here, gently pressing yourself up, returning to a comfortable seat, Once you get there, bringing your hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra, bowing your head slightly. And we'll all seal it in together with Namaste.